Factsverse presents Twisted Facts You Didn't Know About Heath Ledger's Portrayal of the Joker Number 1. Heath Wanted to be Batman Heath Ledger may have played the greatest Joker of all time, but like everyone else, he wanted to be Batman. When the auditions opened for The Dark Knight, Heath wanted that role. Instead, he landed the role of the Joker. In the end, he was the best person for the part and he even ended up winning an Oscar for his performance. He isn't the only person who was rejected for a role only to land a better one. Jennifer Aniston auditioned for the part of Monica on the TV show Friends but landed the role of Rachel. She says that was the best possible outcome. Number 2. Heath's portrayal of the Joker terrified Michael Caine Heath was able to bring out the psychotic side of the villain. Michael Caine played Arthur in The Dark Knight. He says that he had never seen anyone play the role better than Heath. In fact, Heath's performance scared him out of his mind. Caine stated that between the clown makeup and Heath's psychotic performance, along with a dark sense of humor, working with Heath was a frightening experience. This goes to show how great Heath played the role. Number 3. Heath was the first actor to win an Oscar for playing a villain Many actors know that if you want to win an Oscar, a superhero movie isn't going to do it. Oscars are typically given to actors who star in art films or films that have very strong messages. When Heath won the Oscar for his role as the Joker, it took everyone by surprise because that never happens. In fact, he was the first and only person to win an Oscar for a performance in a superhero movie. Also, he was the first actor in history to win an Oscar after he passed away. Sadly, Heath didn't live long enough to accept the award himself. Number 4. He locked himself up in preparation for the role Many actors use method acting to improve their performance. In order for an actor to truly understand their character, they start to live just like that character. Not only does this help the actor physically, it also helps them psychologically. To prepare for his role as the Joker, Heath isolated himself from the world. He did this to see what it would feel like to be the Joker. It helped him greatly and he was able to imagine what it was like to be insane. He did have to stop the method acting after a while because it was having a negative effect on his relationships. Number 5. Heath was inspired by A Clockwork Orange When Heath landed the role of the Joker, he took inspiration from a character in the movie Clockwork Orange. The movie came out in the 70s and it was considered one of the craziest movies of its time. He used the same strange mannerisms as a character in the movie to make his insanity appear more authentic. He really nailed how a crazy person would act. He went the extra mile for this part, and it really showed in the final cut of the movie. Number 6. He Wanted Christian Bale to Beat Him As I previously mentioned, Heath wanted to go the extra mile for this role. He took his method acting so far he asked Christian Bale to literally beat him up. Christian played Batman in The Dark Knight and there was a scene where Batman was questioning the Joker and the two fight. Heath wanted the fight scene to look as real and authentic as possible, so he asked Christian to fight him for real. He was willing to undergo the pain of the fight just to make the movie great. His offer shows how dedicated he was to making the Joker amazing. Number 7. The Joker Journal On the set of The Dark Knight, Heath was known for doing odd, unexpected things. When he was acting, he didn't want to get out of character. Some of the people on set didn't agree with the extreme lengths that he took, though. In his mind, he took the role seriously and did so because he was dedicated. He kept a journal with him on set where he would jot down the ramblings of what sounded like a crazy person. Some of the things he wrote in the journal were dark and twisted. Some people thought that he was beginning to lose his mind after a while. Number 8. The Joker was a true genius There's always been a debate regarding the Joker. Some people say he is just crazy, others say that he is a genius. Heath wanted to play the role so that the audience could see that the Joker was brilliant in his madness. Heath did everything with little rationale but with strategy when he played the Joker. He had logic behind his plan for the role and it served him very well. Number 9. Heath liked to improvise Not too many actors improvise, however, those who do, like Heath Ledger, take it very seriously. 
To do things on the spot, the actor needs to be extremely talented. While filming The Dark Knight, Heath often improvised. He was so good at it that most of his improvised scenes made it into the final cut. Number 10. Heath did his own makeup. There was a makeup artist on the set of The Dark Knight to do Heath's Joker makeup. He wanted to put a personal touch on the character, so he did his own makeup instead. He said he wanted his makeup to look like it was done by a crazy person. He worried that if he left it up to the makeup artist, there would be a professional quality. He insisted on doing his makeup himself so that it would look like a crazy person painted his face. Number 11. Heath often looked like a madman on the set. Heath loved to skate, and everyone knew this, which is why they were not surprised that he did it on set. The only problem was that he did it dressed as the Joker. The environment on the set was positive and relaxed, except for the crazy person skating around in full makeup. For some, that was very off-putting. Number 12. He had a Glasgow smile. When creating his look and applying his makeup, Heath used a Glasgow smile. This was a famous gang in Scotland. The group of criminals would cut their enemies in the mouth from ear to ear. This was so that their enemies would remember it for the rest of their lives. Heath was inspired by this when creating his makeup. Number 13. The explosion was not in the script. It was Heath. This is one of the most twisted facts you probably didn't know about Heath Ledger's portrayal of the Joker. In the scene where the Joker is dressed like a member of the hospital staff is amazing. The explosion was supposed to occur later in the scene. However, Heath took the remote and he created the explosion before anyone was expecting it. He wanted it to look real, and he wanted the other actors to have an authentic reaction to it. Also, he stated that it was exactly what his own character would do. Number 14. The Joker's Mask Heath improvised a lot during the movie, as we've mentioned. There was one scene that stood out the most. When the Joker is robbing the bank, he's wearing a mask. The mask was actually the one that the man who played the Joker in the series during the 1960s wore. Heath believed that he would make the scene as authentic as possible. Number 15. Heath's death impacted the movie. Heath died not long after filming Wrapped. Many people believe he got so wrapped up in the character that it caused him to go into a deep depression. Because he passed away so soon after the film Wrapped, he wasn't around for the post-production work. Many famous actors stood in for him during post-production. Many of them were friends of the actor. And these people donated the money that they made in post-production to Heath's daughter. Subscribe for more.